we were very fortunate that we were able to you know, work with SEALs and look at the best system on the market for what we wanted to achieve. And there was opportunities here, I think, beyond just lighting that I was particularly keen on. I saw this as a gateway, really, to link into other facility services that could be managed by intelligent sensors, let's call them those. So if I've got to light the pool hall, for example, it's a huge space. What happens is with a lighting system is it's either on or it's off in the pool wall. You essentially put on more than you need, but I might only be using a tiny part of that pool. With this system, every single unit has a sensor in it. The lamps nearest the window aren't on as much and aren't as bright as the ones that are up towards the far side furthest away from the window. Now that is clever. So if you've got a system that runs quietly behind the scenes, doing that control and movement, and you have multiple sensors which allows you to really effectively, the system to fine tune, then suddenly your lighting becomes part of the solution, not part of the problem. So the diving team actually really enjoyed being a part of this project. They were actually able to inform and influence part of how the new lighting system would work. We did a first phase fitting of the lighting, and then got the diving team to feed back as we were doing that, what the impact was on those dives. That allowed SEALs to then amend and slightly change the system. Customers in some ways didn't even know anything was going on. They were able to do all of their normal sessions and we were able to just advertise to them this fantastic change we'd made to the, the lighting system. When the new lighting was, was put in place, there was a lot of positive feedback around the fact that the lighting wasn't as intrusive. Initially, we were looking for the return on investment to be around five years. As the wholesale price of electricity continues to rise, that payback time is reducing significantly. So our savings are over 80%. It will provide a better lighting platform for the next 10 plus years. We want to save some money so that we can reinvest that money into the organisation and into the community. So if I can spend 80% less on lighting it, that's 80% more I've got to invest in holiday camp programs, health and activity programs, or the women's only project, or a number of other community outreach projects. We're going to be offering um, free swimming for children. You know, we've got a cost of living crisis at the moment. People can't afford to go out and do the nice, you know, the nice to have things. So we're putting on sessions to try and get people in and, and, and be able to do things without having to worry about finding the money to do it. Well, this foyer area was one of the most challenging parts of the installation. Before, there was CFL globe type fittings and about 30 of them. Uh, they used to die a lot, so it left a dim light and they had to be maintained a lot. So that meant at least once a year, a lifter would be here with two electricians replacing the lights. So we designed this lighting, which is much more inviting and the energy savings are huge. So now we're gonna move into the sports hall. In this sports hall, there used to be approximately 100 fittings before. Now these lights just used to stay on all day, every day, near enough 365 days a year. So we reduced the numbers to 20 in each court. We're on a top board here now. This is a depth of 10 metres down to the pool. Can you imagine being a diver and the lights are too bright or they're positioned wrongly and they're dazzling you and blinding you. So it's very important that the design is right and it doesn't blind the diver as well. Working with SEALs has been a, a, a really enjoyable experience. Um, the team have been excellent. A lot of the work was done at night, so we trusted them to keep the building safe and secure. They've come in, they've been really understanding, getting to know our business and what we wanted to achieve with the project, but also understanding that we wanted to minimise the impact of this product on our customers. The core thing with the emergency lighting system for us is all around our compliance. So for our health and safety, we need to be able to run reports to make sure that the emergency lighting system is fit for purpose. We are able to now email SEALs on a monthly basis and they will send us our generated report confirming that all emergency light fittings have been tested and the smart system will tell them if there's any issues on any individual light fitting and SEALs will send someone out to complete those works and replace them immediately. There's not one single penny to be spent on servicing it, reporting on it. Another very strong reason for saying that's probably worth having a look at.